that's not that's not a real fucking shoe. Here it goes, A's for ambition. Be what I wanna be. See past the situation that's in front of me. What is up, you guys? It's Joseph Arnie. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here. Just like hit the subscribe button, it would help out a lot more than you think. You if this isn't, then I don't know. Just convince your friends to subscribe because I really need to get my numbers up and it would be really helpful if you just like click the button because it's so easy but apparently I have to keep telling you guys to do it. Anyways, for today's video we're gonna be talking about shoes and not like just any shoes. I'm talking about shoes that are just so f ugly and gross and a hot ass mess but for some reason people are obsessed and just keep buying. Like every time I'll see like a shoe that I hate and it gets super trendy all of a sudden. So I think the first ugly shoe we should attempt to like explore is the Croc. Mostly because the Croc is a classic. If you remember the weird kid in your elementary school who nobody liked for some reason, well we had we all had a good reason to like this kid, but we probably sat through so many meetings about why bullying is wrong and why we shouldn't be mean to him, but like he was hissing at us the entire time. It's like I don't know, teachers were just super critical of me for being mean to other kids, but some of them kind of deserved it, not even gonna lie. So, and this kid I'm talking about always wore Crocs. And I think that's where my hatred, hatred of Crocs come from. Just like, the, uh, people I associate Crocs with are not good at all. You would think I, I'd associate them with like Post Malone, and because I like Post Malone it would be okay with me, but it's just never going to be because of people like this kid who I can't name because that would probably be legal who just ruined my entire experience and understanding of Crocs for the rest of my life so we're gonna get into Photoshop and see if we can make a winter version of Crocs that's not that's not a real fucking shoe anyway let's just get into this Photoshop because I'm probably gonna get too heated to continue so first of all let's just go around and like figure out what we're gonna do with the sole because when it comes to shoes especially in the winter you cannot have a giant thick I mean yeah a giant thick piece of rubber sitting there because you're gonna slip and possibly die so it's important that we give the shoe some girth and weight and make it a pleasant experience to actually wear in the winter so you don't kill yourself so now, and I would just like to add that if the shoe ends up being ugly, I am perfectly fine with that. It started out as ugly and it's going to end ugly. That's okay. So now we're going to just cut along the lip of the shoe and kind of extend it so it covers more than a quarter of your foot, which I don't understand. For a what? 45 to 60 dollar pair of shoes it can't even cover my entire foot and it has holes in it who writes this stuff who makes this stuff up like it, I can't I don't get it we're just gonna lift the tongue up a bit and make it something wearable and decent and less of a hot mess than it actually is and no winter shoe would ever be complete without some fur so why not just add a little bit to like the trim and whatnot Alright, so that fur didn't work out. When you have an ugly shoe or sneaker or just anything, just make it uglier. Like, because then people can't say shit to you. Like, just look at every single thing that's ugly that's ever been made. If you just make it uglier, then it's perfectly fine. But if it's, like, halfway ugly, then it's, then it's weird. Then, it's like, nobody wants that. But if it's just super fucking ugly and nobody would ever, like touch it or look at it or care about it then you're good you then you're in the right territory design 101 guys so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the fur on the inside to show that it's like nice and warm and insulated and comfy because everybody wants a comfy croc that they can wear 24 7 even in the winter time <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments if you didn't. Also, feel free to let me know. Whew. If you want to see other videos like this, let me know too. If you don't, also let me know um, what else do I have to say about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. I'll tag everything below like I always do just because... Shameless self-promo is the only self-promo, you know? So, as always, keep being awesome. Keep being yourself. I know it's school classes have started. It's 4.0 season. Go get your grades up because I know you need it. You're probably watching this video right now when you should be doing a homework assignment. And to that, I, I, I guess I applaud you because you're giving me a view. But at the same time, like, what are you doing? Go get to your homework done. Like... These grades aren't going to, like, do themselves. These papers aren't going to write themselves. These presentations aren't going to make themselves. So go out there and make them. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. They inspire me to love them. G is past go with ignite the cash flow. When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last hope.